you see potential patients on the screen, patients of yours on the screen there that you may be currently treating. And quite often these patients are coming to us with the desire for us to replace what's missing, what they're about to lose in a manner that is acceptable to them from an aesthetic standpoint. So is there a way that we can predict the potential for aesthetic result? Most often we've found, especially if you've read the, the Treatment Guide 1 series and embraced the aesthetic risk assessment, that negative outcomes are usually influenced by accumulation of factors. It, it's never really just one thing that gives us a compromise in the aesthetic outcome. It's several things that build up on themselves. So we have challenges that we're always trying to overcome to get a, a result that's acceptable by our patients. So I think one of the keys that we've learned over time is not only accepting these challenges as they face us, but it's important to understand them and communicate these risks prior to initiating care on these patients. And we've all experienced this. If you prepare a patient for what comes ahead, they're gonna be more accepting of the outcome than you inform a patient of a problem after it happens. Right, that becomes an excuse. So understanding these issues and communicating prior to initiation of care is an extremely critical point. So I wanna start off this talk with a patient that we've just done a consultation for. This young lady was in a car accident. She had graft in an implant place. She was seen by one of our colleagues that works uh, the city next to ours and he saw her for a consultation and decided to send her to us. You know why? She's getting married in about two months and she'd like a tooth. Well, let's go ahead and remove her Essex retainer. And uh, the dentist that referred her to us is in our ITI study club. So we've hammered in the challenges of working in the aesthetic zone and the keys and points we have to focus on. And, and when he saw this situation, he said, I don't think I'm gonna be able to take care of this.